Hey guys, a happy new year to you. As promised, your first instalment this week, and we're gonna talk about the precision of your pad holding. So I'm noticing in a lot of the assessments that I'm getting, which are all great, but I want to make sure that you really understand how picky, essentially, that we are gonna be on your pad holding. I want you to practice precision, okay? So I'm gonna give you some tips for fundamentals, advanced and elite, so hopefully this can help you with your practice. Just key points to recall and remember. So let's go through your setup point. Your strong set position is elbows in front of the shoulders. The, the wrist pad is pushed forward onto the wrist. So from the top of the pad to the elbow is one lever. So this is here. Elbows in front of the shoulders to protect yourself. And then the forearms are going to come close to the bicep to be able to use that timing and leverage to catch the punches. So for straight shots, you're catching through that center line. So you're not coming out here. You're coming ultimately through the center, but the pads are not crossing because as you catch one, it bounces back. So that's for straight shots, you know that. From this position here to catch uppercuts, all you do is lever down a little bit further. We're noticing that a lot are still going over or sweeping over the shot. You don't need to do that. Straights and uppercuts are caught exactly the same from here. So when you're practicing your uppercuts, really remember to keep the elbows high and just lever further down and remember to bounce back to that strong set position. So that's your key principles for fundamentals, catching straights and uppercuts. Let's move on to advanced. Two things to remember. One, we're starting to make it a little bit more sports specific. So when you throw your pads at your boxer's face to make them slip, we want you to throw it at the nose and also go past the point of contact. The same again for the ducks and the weaves throw it at their neck height so they have something to get down and weave or duck around. That will make them load the counter punch much more effectively and start moving the body better. So on the slips and the duck and weave, make sure you go past the point of contact and aim. And if they don't move well enough, they might get hit. Second point for advanced is when we are catching the hooks. The hook is a punch to the side of the face. So from your strong set position, all the movement is, is you're gonna open that barrier. You're gonna curl around. Imagine you've got a beach ball. Yeah, you're gonna curl around and come back. So you start in this position, fingertips stay up. In this point, you open up the forearm and bicep. So you open up to just over 90 degrees. You see the H or whatever it is on your pads. This one stays here. And then once you've bounced, it can come back. So this whole movement here to catch the hook is where I need you to be, rather than just this. Can you see the difference? So I'm not in set position if I just do this, and I'm not catching the hook at the intended target if I have my fingertips down. So fingertips up in that strong set position I spoke about, circle around to catch the shot and come back. It's a little bit trickier than you think, and it takes practice and timing. So get precision in your practice. Record yourself doing that movement and take some time, care and attention to do that because you will have to record it again if it is not the same. And then with your elite, what we're noticing with elite, again, is the same kind of principles. We're not going past the point of contact. We're not making contact with the right parts of the body as well. So elite is about the boxer building up defensive moves. So the actual pad holder has to become more of an attacker. So when you are throwing your pads at your boxer, make sure you're throwing it at the nose. If they don't move, they will get punched. It makes sure you're making contact with the deltoid on the shoulder, on the shoulder roll. Make sure you're passing the point of contact for the slip step. Make sure you're hitting, well hitting, making contact with the glove on the head blocks. And again, making sure you're hitting the meaty part of the elbow on the body blocks and the outer pocket uppercut as well. So precision practice in your pad holding, please. I hope that was useful. Just some key highlights, what I'm noticing through the videos that are coming through at the moment. Get practice in, make sure you watch this, make sure you watch the videos and the learning videos more than once. And when you do practice, record yourself so you can be your own uh, critique. All right, guys, I hope that was useful and have a great weekend.